Hey there guys, this is NDM here bringing you another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. Okay, so in the last episode, oh god, my mouse is on the screen, hang on, let me just get that out. Um, in the last episode, we just finished the islands out in the middle of nowhere, I don't know exactly where they are, but anyway, we're back inside Kanto, and we're going to go ahead and take on the 8th gym, the final gym in the game. I'm going to try and make this video a long episode, about 38 minutes long, something like that, round about in the 30s, because I want to try and start Seafoam Islands in this episode, get some of that done. So then I won't have much to do in the next episode, and then we can go ahead and try and do Victory Road. So this is probably going to be the last few episodes of Pokemon Fire Red until I start Leave Green, which I don't know when I'll start Leave Green. Probably sometime near the end of the year, maybe, or maybe next year. Just, uh, well, Leaf Green is going to be a different LP to this. It is the same game, but I'm just going to try and find some new things that I can do with it, try and spice things up, you know, like I said in the last video. But uh, I don't know what exactly what that's going to be, but I was thinking of not using my starter types because I just think starter Pokemon is so OP, to be honest, because you always use your starter Pokemon because it's the first Pokemon you have in the game. Obviously, I'll have to use my starter Pokemon until I start catching other Pokemon, but when I start catching more Pokemon, I'll stop using my starter Pokemon and start leveling up some Pokemon that I catch along along the way. Um, just to make things a little bit more different, I guess, and see if I can stand any chance against any of the trainers in, like, Saffron, or Fushisa, or Cinnabar, you know, just any trainers like that, or gym leaders, for you know, and legendary Pokemon, see if I can try and take them on with much weaker Pokemon than your starter types, or whatever starter Pokemon you have. <laughs> But uh, I won't be using my starter Pokemon in my Leaf Green LP. I just want to give myself a bit of a challenge. Because I've never actually beat a Pokemon game without using my starter Pokemon. I've never done that before. So it'll be kind of different for me as well. And a new experience. And we will be doing the islands more fully um, in my Leaf Green LP. So we will be doing all the Moltres stuff. And getting Mewtwo and all sorts of things. It's just I think this LP's been going on for a little bit too long now, and I've missed days out on this. Like, I've had days off quite a lot during this LP, which has kind of made it a little bit more... Um, a little bit more longer in duration. Like, the duration of this LP has been going on since November. <laughs> and I think it's about time to put this LP to sleep once I've beat the Elite Four. So... Yeah, I know it's kind of sad. I, I do, I wouldn't, well I'm not going to miss it because I'll be doing Leaf Green, which is the same game, and I'll be looking forward to doing Leaf Green, but in a way I would be missing this game because I'll be stopping playing it for a while until I start, or stopping playing it for a while until I start my Leaf Green LP. <laughs> so I guess in a sense I would miss it. <laughs> is this a fighting type gym by any chance? I don't know. Or is this just like a gym with a bunch of random Pokemon? It's like the random gym full of random Pokemon and random trainers. Because I don't think the last trainer we battled was a fighting type. So I don't know. But this is most definitely the weirdest gym out of all of them. Dragon Rage. Uh, does Dragon Rage inflict damage by any chance? Let me just check. Dragon Rage... Oh no, it doesn't. It's got no power. The foe is hit with a shockwave that always inflicts 40 HP of damage. Also, oh, it does do damage. It just hasn't have it. It just doesn't have any power. Probably because it only inflicts 40 HP every time you use it. So it doesn't have like a high power scale or anything. Um, I'm not gonna get rid of. I'm not gonna get any rid of any moves for that. <laughs> it's pointless because I've already got pretty powerful moves as it is already. So, yep, I'm going to stop learning this, because I don't need it. That's Black Belt. You're a Black Belt, and you just got your ass kicked by a trainer who's trying to battle his way through the gym. <laughs> oh god, we've got a load of trainers here. Damn. I might as well clear this area out first, because there's three trainers here I've got to fight. But I haven't been in Seafoam Islands in a long time, I don't know how big it is, so yeah, 
I, I don't think it's as big as Cerulean Cave, because Cerulean Cave is where you get Mewtwo. And Cerulean Cave, boy, that place is huge. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that I remember Cerulean Cave, which is like the last area you go to in the game, and I don't remember Seafoam Islands, which is a place that you can go before you beat the Elite Four. Funny. <laughs> Because you always remember the, like the things that you did throughout the game than what you did on the last part you did in the game. But yeah, I definitely remember the last part I did in this game, which is getting Mewtwo. But apparently you can get like Entei and Suicune and Raikou in Fire Red, but I don't know if you can. And I don't know if you can catch a Deoxys either. People saying that you can catch a Deoxys in this game, whether that's true. Wow, stop using that crap on me, you're gonna end up wiping me out completely. Ah! Damn you, Graveler, damn you. I thought your freaking self-destruct was OP. But mind you, that was a super effective attack against my flipper, so... I don't know if it will be super effective against Darth Vader, but I don't think any of my moves are gonna inflict much damage against this. <laughs> well, for Darth Vader, anyway. Yep, I knew. Why would you have to use Defense Curl? And I, why am I using Darth Vader? I have Vaporeon. I always keep forgetting about Vaporeon. And Vaporeon is super effective against this thing. Because it's water against ground, or water against rock. Magnitude 10! Magnitude frickin' 10! And it's super effective because I'm ground. Oh, it didn't kill me though. <laughs> Probably because I'm level 50. And my defense is much higher. So, yeah, why don't we just get Vaporeon out and try using this? <laughs> Which is what I should have done in the first place. Damn it, why did you have to use a hu Hyper Potion? I thought it was only gym leaders that did that. Obviously not. <laughs> I'm going to use Surf because Surf is my most powerful attack. Graveler's got four arms. Four huge arms that's gonna grab me and pull me down and eat me alive. Uh, it's gonna summon an Onyx. The Pokemon that was so hard for me to catch in this LP, I don't know why it was. <laughs> it took me forever to find one. I mean, I found one in the Lavender Cave, didn't I? Or the cave that you go into before you get to Lavender Town. Yeah, that's where I caught my Onyx. I don't know whether I showed that on on video or not. I'm pretty sure I didn't. So me catching an onyx in the rock tunnel. I think it's called the rock tunnel. Yeah, whatever tunnel you have to go to to get to Lavender Town. Yeah, that's where I caught my onyx. Level 42, trying to learn haze. The hazy maze cave from Super Mario 64. Boy, that level is so hard. Yeah, I, I always get lost in there, I don't know why. Eliminates all stat changes among all Pokemon engaged in battle. No thank you. I ain't having that. Wait, no, 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 I want to stop learning it. I don't want to carry on learning it. <laughs> no, um, yeah, stop learning it. Alright. <clears throat> Ah, uh, this Pokemon's all going out rocks. All going out with rock Pokemon. Rock or ground. I think Marowak is Marowak is rock and ground. I don't think he is. He he looks like the kind of Pokemon that would be a fighting type. I don't know why. A Yuji, or however you pronounce that. I'll just say Yuji because it's got a G. A J. Bring it on, Ryu. Or Ryu. Ryu, Ryu. No, I just say Ryu because everyone says Ryu. Am I chopping my balls? We haven't seen one of these in a while, I don't think. Well, well yeah, we did. We battled one, I think. That, that was like one of the first Pokemon we battled in this gym. Yeah, we have recently battled a Machopping Mubbles. And it's going to be summoning a Machoking Mubbles. 
Uh, I've been using that quite a lot <laughs> in this LP, that friggin' pun. That pun. My chalk foresees the future, and in the future, all is devastation. Well, especially for you, because <laughs> you are now down. Now down. At sushi. At, at sushi. At sushi. I think that was his name. I've never actually tried sushi, but I'm not a very big fan of seafood. I think isn't it? Isn't sushi seafood? Or is it just rolls in, and is it just a roll and it has rice in the middle with a bunch of spicy sauce in it? I think that's what sushi is. But everyone's saying it's fish. Like I've heard people say that sushi is fish. I don't know. I think it's rice in a seaweed wrap. In a small seaweed wrap and it has a bunch of spicy sauce in it. I don't know that sushi sounds like it tastes kind of nice actually, but if it, if that's what it is, because <laughs> I'm not a very big fan of seafood, I don't really eat that much seafood. The only fish that I like, and I'll be honest with you, the only fish that I would ever eat would be um would be uh, kipper. I like kipper. Um, kipper on toast with butter on it, just like spread it, like glaze the fish with butter, and uh, just put it on some toast. Tastes really good. Yeah. Like I used to have that for breakfast all the time. <laughs> I haven't actually had it in a while. Can't remember the last time I had kipper on toast. But if you've never tried it before, I definitely recommend you should. That's if you like seafood. Unlike me, I don't really like it, but I like kipper. But that's all I'll eat. <laughs> Damn, this this gym is actually turning out to be pretty easy. I thought this gym was going to be a lot harder than what I thought. I guess it's just because we have OP Vaporeon here, <laughs> who's just completely vaporizing every single Pokemon that comes in its path. Because all these trainers all seem to have is just ground and rock. All these trainers in this gym. Now I don't know if this is ground, because the evolved form of that is ground. But I don't know if that is ground. I need a Rhino. I'm going to go with it. I don't care. Because I don't care. I love it. Okay, stop it. Stop singing that song. Stop it. Nido Queen. I just thought that was a great opportunity just to sing that. <laughs> or sing the chorus. I don't know the rest of the song because that's not my type of music. I just know it because my mum listens to it. <laughs> and that's all she ever listens to is just pop music. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. Uh, <laughs> um, did we battle that trainer in the hallway there? I don't know, but we're near the gym leader now. And he's gonna block my friggin' access. You cock block. Why'd you have to block me, block my access all the way to the gym leader? That was a straight, straight path right there to victory, and then you go ahead and block my way. Oh well. I'm gonna kill you anyway. <laughs> Cause I feel like it. Ah, it wasn't even effective and it killed it. <laughs> Cause normally it takes like a pixel of health away, but no, it managed to get rid of the last amount of health he had. Vaporeon's getting up quite some levels here, I must say. But uh, it's best to use um, Vaporeon for this gym, I don't know why. It just seems to be doing really good for me right now. <laughs> or any water type, I would say. If you have like a Poliwhirl, uh, no, not a Poliwhirl, well, no, not Poliwag, yeah. If you have like a Poliwhirl or a Poliwrath, you'd do pretty good in here. Hmm. 
Oh, he's another bite attack, I think. But before we go to the gym leader, I'm definitely going to get myself all healed up. Because for safe sake of not dying. <laughs> I ain't battling that gym leader and having my ass kicked and then losing a whole bunch of money for it. So, Because when you die, you lose money as well. Unfortunately. That's how the cookie crumbles. So you know what, I'm going to cut and I'll meet you guys back in the gym. We're about at the same kind of area I was at. So I'll see you then. Okay guys, I'm back. Are we ready to take on the 8th gym leader? Well, I think we are, so let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this! Let the battle commence. Fwahahaha! <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. I It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its, full, its former glory. You have found me again, so be it. This time... I'm not holding back. Once more you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer of all time. No, <laughs> you are not the greatest trainer of all time. Because you are going to go down. <laughs> leader Giovanni would like to battle. But yeah, the leader of this gym, is, believe it or not, is the leader of Team Rocket's crew. So yeah, we're fighting the leader of Team Rocket again. What a surprise. <laughs> Uh, should I use foot wing attack on this? Because I don't really want to swap any other Pokemon out to battle this thing. I want to try and take it on as Flipper first. Uh, I'm going to use Blast Burn. Because Blast Burn is OP. Wow, I actually managed to kill it. Holy crap. Wow. <laughs> Blast Burn definitely is OP then. <laughs> I managed to kill that and it wasn't even very effective. And it's not that lower of a level than me either. Which is a surprise. Okay, I'm going to get Vaporeon in that to take care of all of his Pokemon, because I imagine they're all going to be ground types. Considering the majority of the Pokemon in this gym was ground, most of them, well, some of them were fighting as well, but I, I would say that this gym was a mixture of fighting and ground type. Because we never really had a fighting gym, did we? Not in this game. The only thing that we had that was a that was like a resemblance to a gym, but it was a fighting type thing, was the dojo in Saffron City where we got our Hitmonlee, I think it was. We got a Hitmonlee, didn't we? Yeah, we got a Hitmonlee because I wanted the defense more than the attack. So I chose Hitmonlee instead. Because Hitmonlee is more defensive than Hitmonchan. Hitmonchan is the offensive one. And it's three little dog trios with big red noses like Rudolph. Rudolph the red nose. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Nido Queen. Yeah, just keep using Surf. Dude, Vaporeon is completely vaporizing all of your Pokemon, like, seriously. <laughs> you have inflicted some damage against me. But I'm inflicting more because I'm wasting every single one of your Pokemon. And I haven't even swapped. Because I don't need to. <laughs> and I gained quite a few levels in this gym as well. And this is his most powerful Pokemon. Level 45, Nidoking. And it's dead. Yeah, there we go, guys. <laughs> That's the 8th gym. Done and dusted. Player defeated. Leader Giovanni. Ha, that was a truly intense fight. You have won. Well, it wasn't intense. That was easy. That was like a cakewalk. As proof, here is the Earth Badge. Angela got... Whoa! Dude, is that... Yeah, 10,000. 10,000! 10, 10,000 for winning! The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon League. Also, this is the TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. Uh, TM26. I wonder what this is. I think it might be... Yeah, Earthquake. Well, it's, this is an Earth-type gym, because he gave us the Earth badge. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here for too long for too long ago. Um, yeah, I would consider it as an Earth gym, because ground is a part of the Earth, you know. If you want to be all technical about it. But it is a ground-type gym. The majority of it is a ground-type. But it does have fighting Pokemon in there as well. So it's kind of a mixture. But overall, I would say the majority of the gym was obviously ground. <laughs> uh, let's get ourselves all healed up here. Just 
in case. And now we're gonna go ahead and fly to Seafoam Islands. Well, we can't ex we can't exactly fly directly there. We have to fly to Cinnabar, and then swim all the way to uh, Seafoam Islands from that point. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and fly over there. I say we should. Right, where's Falco? Yeah, use the Star Wing. Take us to Cinnabar Island. Right, so just surf in this direction and it will take you straight to the Seafoam Islands. I don't know if there are any trainers on this route. I sure hope. Oh, there is. There is trainers on here. Well, if there are trainers, better get Pigmonk out here to do some of this. Get some levels. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know how powerful the trainers are going to be here, but they're definitely not going to be as powerful as what they were in the 8th gym. A guarantee on that. <laughs> Swimmer Melissa. Yeah, I told you. Level 31 Polywag. Around about the same level as me. So, it's not going to be that much of a big deal. And it's a Polywag, so what can... What can be the uh, most... What, what, what What's the worst that can happen, basically? See? Told you. <laughs> A Sea King. Now that's kind of tragic. A Sea King. Oh no, it's a Sea King. Oh, I, th I was thinking of a different Pokemon for a minute there. Oh uh, no, I thought a Sea King was a Seedra. No, it's not a Seedra. It's, a, it's the evolved form of a Goldeen. But a Seedra is... I don't think we've actually came across a Seedra, but a Seedra is the evolved form of a Horsey. And I know we've came across a, a Horsey before. But we should get a fair amount of EXP from this, considering it's the evolved form. Uh, yeah, 1,128 EXP. That's some sexy shiz right there. Wait, you're supposed to wait. You're, wait, you're supposed to wait. Uh, 124 poker dollars for winning. I don't think there are that many trainers here to actually get to Seafoam Islands, so I'm just gonna battle all these until we get there. Cause Seafoam Islands. Is basically two separate islands, and this is why it's so big. But it's not as big as Cerulean Cave. It's two separate islands, as far as I remember, and um, you have to use two islands to get to the main thing that's inside Seafoam Islands. So you have to use the two islands to actually navigate round inside the cave, if you know what I mean. Um, Mega Kick. Rock Tomb, but I think there are puzzles in there, I can't remember, like there's moving block puzzles, and if there are moving block puzzles, we're screwed because I don't have the move strength, but I think I know where to get the move strength, um, I think I do, <laughs> I'm gonna die, so, uh, yeah, I have enough, I have healing potions, this time I didn't forget. <laughs> so let's use a hyper potion and get yourself all healed up here. I think I'm confused as well. So he's confused, or she's confused me. Should I say? Uh, rock tomb. Confusion is probably the most annoying thing in the world, and yeah, it just had to miss just then as well. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my god, man, no! Don't do this to me now, just... Uh, confusion is the most annoyingest thing in the world. Oh, thank god. I snapped out of it. And now you're gonna pay for that, you're gonna pay for... summoning those rubber, rubber duckies to... elude me in my... to stop me from using my ultimate battle skills against these weak ass Pokemon of yours. Oh my uh, why why does every single Pokemon have to learn that move? Seriously <laughs> I 
and it's time consuming as well so you know what I'm just gonna say screw this and get someone else out here to take care of it <laughs> I mean Pigmonk's gonna get the EXP anyway so it doesn't really matter as much as I'd love to get all the EXP just for Pigmonk I'm not gonna sit there for 10 hundred hours waiting for me to actually land an attack on that thing And I've just been messaged again. Again. Picnic and Missy. Alright, uh. Does anyone need healing by any chance? I think they do. So let's just see. Uh, yeah, you definitely. Um, no, I'm not gonna get Raichu right. healed, he's fine. I'm not going to be using him anyway. I mean, I would use him for emergencies because electric against water is super effective and it gets rid of the battle a lot more quicker. Um, but wow, there are actually a lot of trainers out here. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this because from Cinnabar to to get to Seafoam Islands is a lot quicker than going from Lavender Town to uh, Seafoam Islands. I think it's Lavender Town or it's Fushisa, I can't remember. No, it's Fushisa. Yeah, it is. It's uh, Fushisa to Lavender. No, not Fushisa to Lavender. Fushisa to uh, Seafoam is the longer way of getting there. But from where, we're hit, from where we left off is the quickest way. Swimmer Dean. Jumping up and down, jumping up and down, this is how I have sex because I'm a monkey and I poop. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Um, <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, try and get to Sifo Mons. My boyfriend gave me a big per gave me big pearls. Clam pearl, clam pearl, clam pearl, <laughs> clam pearl. Shelda. Yeah. You don't get clam pearls in this game, I don't No, that's in the next generation, yeah. This is a cut that I, uh, well, I just made that cut with the uh, pig monk. <laughs> um, but yeah, the last time I actually started playing this was about 30 minutes ago, so I'm trying to get back to my commentary and what I was talking about previously, which I cannot remember, but I'm just going to start some new topics and think of different things to talk about as we proceed onwards to our destiny. Oh no. Damn it! I hate that friggin' stupid confusion shit. Every single Pokemon is always seeming to pull off that crap, and I don't like it. Every single trainer uses the move confusing confusion and believe or uses the move supersonic, which causes the confusion ailment. And the confusion ailment is probably the most OP ailment that there is in this whole entire game, purely for the fact that you hardly a you are hardly able to actually land an attack on any Pokemon because of that stupid. Stupid, stupid. Do I want to change? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna change to Raichu. Cause water, no electric against water, super effective. Thunderbolt. Sorry if you heard that bang. That's uh, someone knocking on the door. It's alright. No <coughs> problems. Hoister. Yeah, just keep using. <laughs> I think it's I think Hoister is ice. And I don't know if Thunder against ice. Or electric against ice is super effective. But we're gonna give it a try. See if it does. Oh it is, okay, fair enough. Well Raichu would be a very good choice to use against the first trainer in the Elite Four because the first trainer in the Elite Four is ice type. And I think electric is super effective against ice type, as well as fire, obviously, because fire against ice. Fire melts ice. I rode my bird Pokemon here. Well, that's nice. I've got bird Pokemon too, you want to see? I have a Pidgeotto. No, Pidgeot, not Pidgeotto. Pidgeotto and Pidgeotto look exactly the same. That's why I always get confused between the two. 
I don't know how you would be able to tell the difference between a Pidgeotto and a Pidgeot. Probably because... I don't know. Really, I honestly don't know how you would tell the difference. Because to me, they look exactly the same. And I'm surprised that Fury Attack actually isn't super effective against my Pigmonk. Because... Uh, Fury Attack is a flying type move, I believe. And there we go, level 35. Sweet cross chop. Well, let's see, shall we? Is cross chop more powerful than any other move that I have? Well, power of 100. Um, yeah. Seismic toss. I might actually get rid of that seismic toss just for cross chop. Because uh, seismic toss is a pretty. Um, pretty weak move at this stage of the game. Pidgeotto. Right, we got a Pidgeotto, so let's use Rock Tomb here. Oh, damn it. Because he's, he's only got flying types, and Rock against flying is super effective, even though flying against fighting is super effective, which is kind of the downside, so... If I don't land an attack, he's just going to keep on spamming, spamming wing attack or some wing moves or whatever, flying attacks. Oh, damn it. Yeah, hey, I forgot about the move Whirlwind or whatever he used just then. To s that basically what Whirlwind does, I don't think a, a Pokemon has actually used Whirlwind against us before. But what Whirlwind does is swaps your party around. So, that's why I'm now playing as Flipper. So I'm going to have to swap back again to uh, Pigmonk and use him. But uh, I believe Rock Tomb has a very low accuracy. In fact, most of the moves that Pigmonk actually knows has very low accuracy because all fi all these moves here, like Mega Punch and Mega Kick, they may be powerful, but they have very low accuracy. And power is no good if the accuracy is low because, oh, you know why? Because you, if you can't land a hit, if you can't land a hit, you aren't gonna attack, and the attack is pretty much useless if you can't attack the Pokemon. So I'm gonna use Cross Chop, get rid of it. <laughs> And we got some decent EXP out of it. Bird Keeper Roger. Alright, I'm gonna get my, uh, my Pigmonk here nicely patched up. Alright, let's continue on. I think we're actually here now. I'm not sure. But if we are here, then that wasn't so bad. Like the amount of trainers that we had to fight to get here. Yeah, we are here. The island's right there, or right here, should I say. The, like I said, the island is split up into two different caves, and the other cave is on the other side of the rocks. But in order to get to the other side of the cave, you have to go through this part first. And Seafoam, Seafoam Islands is pretty big <laughs> in both sides, I think. Well, I, I think the first side isn't as big as the second side. Or I could be wrong, the first side could be bigger than the second. But we're going to go ahead and see what's inside. And I want to try and do some of it in this episode. That's why I'm trying to make it long. A seal. Uh, yeah, just keep fighting. The sealo's trying to do a handstand on his belly. <laughs> He must have a very flexible spine to do that. Like, bend right down like that. Or bend right over like that, should I say. Bend right down. Horsey. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. The evolved form of a horsey is a cedra. But you can also evolve a cedra, I think, if you use a king's rock. It, if you use a King's Rock on it, it, it can evolve into a... Uh, I forgot the name of it now. I know it's Sea something. I think it's Sea King. No, it's not Sea King, because Sea King's the evolved form of a 
Goldeen. And this is Seafoam Islands, everyone. The giant ice cave where we can catch a bunch of ice Pokemon in here as well. Some Pokemon we haven't actually came across before. But I do believe we need the move Strength. And we definitely need the move Strength to get through... Um, to get through Victory Road. So I need to get Strength wherever you get that from. I, th I think I know where you get it from. You need the Gold Teeth. And I've got the Gold Teeth. And you need to give the Gold Teeth to some guy in the Safari Zone, I think. It's, uh, it's in that area. It's in that general area. It's in either it's in either the town of Celadon, no, not Celadon, Fushisa, or it's in the Safari Zone. But I'm pretty sure it's actually in the town. But if I come across the part where I need to use strength, I'll end off the video, and then in the next episode, I'll meet you in Fushisa, where I'll get the move strength. And then obviously cut, and then meet you back at Seafoam Islands in order to progress. It's a duck. It's a Psyduck. Probably the most dumbest Pokemon in the whole series. <laughs> Alright, so we can use Surf. Oh, the current is much too fast. Surf can't be used here. Huh. Alright, so we can't use Surf. Um, we're kind of come up on a dead end here then. <laughs> a Zubat? Nah, yeah, point. Yeah, that's, that's a pointless old Zubat. Plenty of those. Don't need to show them. <laughs> Because they randomly appear all over the place. But yeah, how the hell are, how the hell are we going to get through this place? This is just like one dead end here. Well, this side of the island is just one dead end. I can't. I don't remember it being like this. Um, is there a way round to the other side? By any chance? I think there is. But the only problem is we have to go through... Oh, damn it. We have to go through from Fushisa to the Seafoam Islands to get round. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to fly here then. And then go down this route to get down. Oh, damn it. There's a whole load of trainers down there as well. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do it in this video. I'm probably gonna have to do it in the next video instead. Because I thought you could go through Seafoam Islands from Cinnabar, but obviously you can't. But at least we can find the move strength from here, which is what I'm going to try and do. I know which house it is, I know which building it is, and I know what it looks like. It's a room, it's a house that has a bunch of boulders in it. It's one of these ones. Yes, it's this one right here. This is where you get the move strength. Got the gay, Angela gave the gold teeth to Warden. The Warden open, popped, it, popped in his teeth. Thank you, Lassie. You're a real lifesaver. <laughs> Life savers the candy. No one could ever understand a word that I said, not one, not a one. I was too ashamed to show my face around the office, even let me see, let me give you something for your trouble. And we got the HMO4 from Warden. This is essential, you do need this. You do need this move in order to progress through the Victory Road. And you do need this move to progress through Seafoam Islands, I believe, as well. So, where's the TM case? We have to teach this to someone. Who I don't know. <laughs> Wait, where's Str oh there it is? HMO four. Darth Vader, Pikachu, no Raichu, should I say? Most of the Pokemon in here can actually learn this move. I'm going to teach it to Raichu. And I'm going to get rid of the move Slam for it. Well, Flash. I don't really need Flash anymore. I don't know. No, I don't need Flash anymore, so... Oh, I can't get rid of it. Damn it. Okay, fair enough. I'll get rid of Slam instead. Fair it is. <laughs> Put the disc on your head. This disc is going to be in violently inserted into your brain. So you can never forget... But uh, yeah, let's get rid of this boulder and see what's inside this chest here. There we go. A rare candy, ah, that's nice. I know who to give that to. 
I could be generous and give it to Falco instead. You know what, I'll do that, because that'll be the wisest move to give that to a... Uh... Use on Falco. Right, so you know what guys, I'm going to end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. Sorry that we didn't get to do a bit of Seafoam Islands today, but we will be able to do some of that tomorrow and probably get most of it done. I think I'll just do it in one whole clean sweep and then we'll be off to Victory Road. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks, thanks for watching and goodbye.